Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Tsukihime. When last we left off, um, it, well, seemed like the person that we had promised forgot about the promise, doesn't, doesn't seem to remember it at all, and that's, that's quite sad. I mean, it was, as Shiki put it, despite him saying it wasn't important originally, he said that it kept him, it kept him going in a way. It was something that he always latched onto, something that he looked forward to, and to me, that, that is the sign that it's, you know, a promise. And, well, we're here, we're at a choice, and we can choose who to greet, and, well, I mean, it's pretty simple, uh, we already did that, and we'll be doing that another time, and, well, what is it, what is it, in another place, at another time? And uh, we'll be choosing number three then. We're gonna greet both of them. Morning, you two. Good morning, Shiki-san. Wearing a white apron that suits her, Kohaku-san replies with a smile that could not possibly be any larger. On the other hand, Akia just casts a glance at me. Good morning. You certainly took your time this morning, Nissan. She certainly knows how to put a damper on things. Took my time. It's barely past seven. It only takes 30 minutes to get to school from here, so I'm actually up early. So you're saying you're going to finish breakfast in just 10 minutes? You're not some starving dog, so if you're going to eat breakfast, I'd like you to take your time. I mean, 10 minutes sounds plenty to me, but I also eat quick. And not like in the uh, shoveling food in my mouth, starving kind of thing for just... At least I've never been told that, and I've asked about that. No, no, I just eat quick. I don't really stop and talk or stop and look around or just eat. Just get it over with. Here are the things to do. I'm kidding. I have nothing better to do. <laughs> Akia's words really do have thorns. You already view this scene. Would you like to skip? Yes. Oh god, this one... Uh, hmm. What did we do last time? I think last time we asked about Sachin. And I really would like to do that again because I like Sachin, but we've already seen that scene. So... Just sit here silently. I was about to ask, but I didn't think the teacher would tell me. If she did run away from home, like Arihiko said, it's her business. Besides, there isn't a teacher on the planet who'd answer a classmate who just casually asked, Does Yumizuka-san run away from home? Yeah, it's not like it's been confirmed yet or anything. Maybe Yumizuka was just late. It would be a better idea to see how things go for a little while longer before asking the teacher. Even after second period, Yumizuka still didn't show up. With no way to find out, my bad feeling about this grows. It's lunchtime. In spite of the morning's excitement, the classroom has returned to its everyday cheerfulness. It seems that no one in class is really taking Yumizuka Satsuki's running away from home seriously. Oh no, let's go get lunch. That's okay. I don't really feel like it. Ah, uh, I guess it can't be helped. Don't be too troubled with other people's problems too much. Other people's problems, huh? Aruhiko's words are too close to the truth. Ah, uh, you're not with Inui-kun today? Oh right, you're here. Senpai? I forgot about you, somehow. What are you doing in our class? Well, I thought I'd have lunch with you guys, Tonokun. Aren't you going to eat something? Sinpai sits down on the desk, looking at me anxiously. Uh, nah, I just, I just don't seem to have my appetite today. Huh? Are you not feeling well? Uh, something like that. Don't worry about me. You go on to the dining to the dining hall. Arihiko is probably already there. Oh, you're not energetic at all. I don't know what happened, but if you don't eat lunch, you'll be feel, you'll just feel even worse. 
That's true, but... But since I'm not hungry, there's not a lot I can do. I... Oh, right. I forgot these are choices now. Uh, because we don't get a choice here if we go Aki, do Aki's route, and I was... I'm, I'm dumb and can't read my, uh, my own flowchart, apparently. <laughs> well, 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 well. Senpai is right. No. No. No, she's not. No. We're not going to do what she tells us. Sorry. I really don't feel too good right now. I'm going to the clinic, so please just have lunch with Arihiko. Senpai sighs. I don't know what is going on, but please do not push yourself, Tonoku. <laughs> I'm going to the planet clinic, so I won't push myself. Forcing a smile, I leave the classroom. When I get back, homeroom has ended. I'm the only one left in the classroom as everyone else has rushed off to club activities or to their homes. Well, there's really no need for me to stay here. Putting my things in my bag, I leave the classroom. It's past four o'clock. I told Hisui I'd return around 4, so I don't have time to wander about. I suddenly stop as I walk up the hill. Yesterday, at this same time, I remember how natural the parting was between Yumizuka and I. To be honest, I'm concerned about Yumizuka. But no matter how much I, so I worry, there's nothing I can do. I told her I would help her as much as I could whenever she was in a pinch. But now, I don't even know how I can help. I reach the top of the hill, walk along the wall, and reach the front gate of the mansion. This western mansion does seem out of place. In the middle of a residential area and at the top of a hill, this imposing mansion really does give the impression that it is from a country other than Japan. Besides, to top it all off, welcome back Shikisama. And standing there in front of the gate to welcome me is a maid. Hisui stands like a statue in front of the gate. Thanks Hisui. Um, Forgive me for asking, but have you been waiting here for me the whole time? No, not the whole time. I've only waited for half an hour. Is there something wrong? She speaks extremely matter-of-factly. Wait a minute. Waiting for me like that is going overboard. I'm really happy that you waited to greet me, but you don't have to go that far. Wearing that and standing up conspicuously, I feel a little embarrassed. Plus, it is autumn. It'll get pretty cold out soon. Hisui is silent. She might be part foreigner as her blue eyes are like finely crafted glass staring at me lifelessly without expression or without emotion. That's, that's always kind of weird to me about Japanese stuff. You're either you're Japanese or you're a foreigner. <laughs> and it's, it's just kind of weird because it's like what what kind of foreigner? I mean, usually with other Asian mixes, they don't really say anything unless it's important. At least not that I can remember. Um, but it's like, well, they might be part Russian or English or, you know, uh, I don't know. It's just a weird thing to me, but I'm, I'm someone that enjoys uh, culture, like learning about other cultures and my own culture, to be, to be frank. Um, so... I just like the idea that I like it when things tell me it's like well she's part Japanese and part Russian or part English or part French or part German or part Scandinavian or even just generic like Eastern European or uh, uh, you know Central European or uh, Western Europe or Mediterranean or 
uh, American or yeah, whatever. I'm I'm rambling. And the reason I didn't name other places is because they're usually, at least not in my experience in terms of dealing with literature, uh, reading material, art, if you will, from Japan, is if there's something else other than, uh, well, basically white or Mediterranean, they will, you know, they will be part, they will be that, and they will make mention of that. Like, if they're part Indian or part uh, African or part South American or part, uh, I don't know, somewhere from Latin America or Mexico or so on and so forth, I'm rambling about something completely pointless that really only I probably care about. And I just, I like culture. I like learning about all the different cultures that I can. It's so interesting. It's somebody that is making their own D&D world and, or tabletop. I'm probably use it for things other than D&D, so I can't just say D&D, but, you know, that's what I'm making it for at the moment. <laughs> but I, I, love, I love that stuff. I love cultures. I love history. I like learning what makes different places what they are, you know. I'm, I'm rambling a lot. A brief silence ensues. I understand. And then, starting tomorrow, I will wait in the lobby. Hisui gives a brief bow and opens the gate. After that, she resumes her immobile depiction of a statue. After I walk through the gate and enter the garden, she quietly follows behind me. When we reach the entrance, Hisui whooshes past me. Ugh. Instinctively, I jump back. What is it, Shikisama? Uh, no, nothing. It's nothing. She silently opens the front door. She must have moved ahead of me to do so, waiting behind her master until her turn arises, quietly fulfilling her duty. Perhaps that is the duty of a maid, but it makes a normal person like me a little nervous to have her attending my every move. This isn't good at all. This just makes me feel like a perpetual guest in my own home. Um, he's sweet. Yes, what is it, Shikisama? I said yesterday already, but I'd like to do things that I can do by myself. N no, please, let me. This is sort of a secret, I suppose, but the truth is, I really am pretty lazy deep inside, so I tend to let things go. I don't think that's a secret, and I don't think it's deep inside, but, you know, whatever. Yeah, I'd really want that to be a secret from Akia. I do not understand. Are you telling me to be more strict? No, that's definitely not it. I just want to live as relaxed as possible, so I'm deeply sorry. I do not appear to understand what you are saying, Shikisama. Um, that's why I'm saying you don't have to look so serious. This is troubling. Last night, when I talked to her a little about this, I had a premonition, but I didn't know she took things this seriously. Sheesh. What I'm saying is that you don't have to worry about me. I don't mind being helped with things like laundry and cooking and other than that, other than that, I, I can take care of myself. Isn't it just you and Kahaku-san taking care of this enormous mansion? So I don't want to add to your duties. Just relax. Her expression does not change. She doesn't answer or even give a nod. Just a quick closing of the eyes, I think. I understand. But you do not have to worry about me, Shikisama. Ah, she doesn't understand at all. Shisui swiftly swishes to the side to make way for me. I sigh. I'm really taken aback. All this devotion really does make me happy, but I think it'll be good if she was just half as cheerful as Kahaku-san. She has such a beautiful atmosphere around her. Maybe if I just relax a little bit, that that would be... Shiki-sama, are you not going to return to your room? N no, I was just thinking about something. I turned to the side and faced the stairs. 
Hisui looks rather longingly at the bag in my hand. I think she wants me to let her carry it. She already went through all of this trouble just to greet me, and now she wants to carry my bag. I ignore her longing attitude as I quickly walk towards my room. Please take off your school clothes and place them here. I have to clean the mansion, so if you need anything, please call for me. Hisui, you clean the mansion? I wonder what Akia and Kahaku-san are doing. Akia-sama is in the salon taking care of Makihisa-sama's business and inheritance matters. Nissan would most likely be sweeping in the courtyard. Huh? My old man's business inheritance? Is she talking with a lawyer or something? Yes. It seems she is being informed about all of the administrative policies, so she will be extremely busy until dinner time. Well, the old man did suddenly pass away, so he probably didn't tell her anything about his company. Sorry for taking your time. I'll call you if anything happens, so you can just return to what you were doing. I understand. Well then, please excuse me. I change out of my uniform and into some normal clothes. The clock says it's just past 5 o'clock. It'd be a waste if I just spaced out in my room, so now I should... Well, we can go see Hisui, we can go see Kahaku, or we can stay in our room. But first, I'm going to take a drink. Actually, drinking, taking a sip of wine probably wasn't the best idea since this wine, despite my uh, normal like for wines that are low in tannins, has a pretty decent amount of tannins. So I drink water. So I will drink water instead. And uh, I should probably say it now because I'm probably going to get there and forget at the time. But uh, sadly, I don't have any brandy to sip on while I record the dinner scene, because that is going to happen soon-ish. But, 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 I'm wasting time, and I've rambled a lot this episode, so, well, I mean, it should be pretty obvious what we're going to do. Hi, Hisui. How you doing? That's right. She's been taking care of me since yesterday, so if I have time to fool around, I ought to go help Hisui. Well then, Hisui said she'd be cleaning the mansion, but where could she be? I go down to the lobby. She wasn't in the hallway on the second floor, so maybe she's in the sitting room? Not here. Not here. Not here. Not here. She's not anywhere on the first floor. The only place I haven't looked are the locked recreation rooms, the guest room, and the salon where Akia is right now. I guess she's on the second floor then. It's a big mansion, so there's probably a bunch of places I haven't looked. Psyching myself up, I start up the stairs. I go up the stairs and glance down the hallway, and then... I see Hisui's silhouette standing by the window in the east hall of the mansion. Hisui. My voice dies in my throat. In the middle of the hallway, in the twilight between light and shadow, Hisui stands motionless. I can't speak. Something about her seems dangerous. Hisui lingering in the gloom of this western style mansion. She seems so incredibly beautiful, but at the same time, a chill runs through me as if I was looking at a ghost. She doesn't even move a finger. She simply stares out the window. That window. Is that the same one she watched us from back then? Hisui. I can't do anything but stare in fascination. 
I'm so dumbstruck I can't speak or even blink. I can only watch her. And then, her eyes, still like that of a doll's, suddenly turn towards me. Shikisama, is something wrong? Uh, no, nothing. I, I just, um... Hisui tilts her head in curiosity. That seems to break the mysterious spell I was under. I was looking for you because I had some free time and I thought I'd give you a hand. For some reason, I couldn't find you, but I made it. I see. But Shikisama, there is no need for you to do that. Please return to your room. Mm. I thought it would turn out like this. Hisui doesn't want me to do any work. But Hisui, I don't have anything else to do. I don't like just doing nothing, so I thought I ought to pitch in. Shikisama, but you say it. You may say that, but there is no longer any work that you might assist me with. The only thing that remains is to arrange Akia's bedroom. No males are allowed to enter Akia's bedroom. Not even you, Shikisama. Hmm. Well, that's definitely true. But it's a little cruel. She didn't have to emphasize that last part. Please excuse me. I have to finish my duties. Her footsteps echo in the air, and she goes into Akia's bedroom. Sheesh. I can't just go into a girl's bedroom because I have free time. Oh well, guess I'll go back to my room. I turn on my heels. Before doing so, I get curious about the window Hisui was staring out of. Huh? Isn't that Gohaku-san in the courtyard? You can see the whole courtyard from this window. Was Hikisui looking out into the courtyard from this window just as she did when she was a child? And I think, I think, I think, I think, ladies and gentlemen, this is where we're going to end off this episode. I think that was a nice little moment to end on. And, well, next time, it would seem that we're going to have dinner. And that's nice. So, ladies and gentlemen, next time, or no, next time, tea in the sitting room. So, I hope to see you all there. <laughs>